pretty nervous for this race. I know the competition was super tough and I was like, I feel like I've trained well though and I felt confident in my abilities so I knew that I would be able to work a hard one. <laughs> it's Connor Donadio heading towards the finish line still in the lead with just a touch of open water. It's going to be a race for both the silver and the bronze as they come to the line. Connor Donadio from GMS winning the gold medal in the men's single. They are walking up on the boat from South Jersey but at the finish line it's still South Jersey by a deck with Cambridge at the line. It is still Miami Beach by about a foot over for GMS, a substantial margin, almost 70 meters in front. It's the boat from Connecticut winning the gold in the women's pair. My favorite thing favorite is um, the incredible power that my pair partner has. I just love that we've gotten to a place where it's like, if I mess up with my line a little or if I get down on myself, it's just like, I know like a quick like, hey, sorry about that. And it's she's not even mad at me. She's just like, no worries, next stroke, like, let's go. With 50 meters to go, beginning to haul and row America ride with the bow seat glancing over to the right. They keep looking at each other, trying to see who will do what. It's bow ball to bow ball with 10 meters to go. Who will get it? It looks like a strong effort from row America rye and Newport, but I think row America rye may have the advantage. I don't know about Gus here, but I was pretty much hanging on for dear life and I yeah. guess I guess we came out on top. It's Y Quad Cities by an open water boat length. If they can make it to the finish in the last 20 meters, here they go. Three strokes from the end, and Y Quad Cities is a gold medal winner. 40 meters to go in the men's quad championship. New Canaan looking to cover, and here they go. New Canaan, the gold medal winner in the men's quad. Every single stroke we've, we've taken in the last year has been for today. So everything went as we wanted it to, and we're proud that it worked out like that. Yeah. Morley and Evans from Wyquad City win the gold. 20 meters from the end. Seattle beginning to walk up on Amadeus. Amadeus trying to dig in and help at the finish. Oh, tight. Hard to call between Amadeus and Seattle. What a race that was. Amazing. Uh, I think we definitely exceeded expectations. And, for, for ourselves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, our own expectations. And uh, I'm really happy about how it went. Yeah. Something just clicked and we just rolled with it. 30 meters from the finish. Capital in the women's four with the gold medal here at the Youth National Championships. All of the work that our coach Sarah set us up for this entire year, um, it all came into that one race and um, we were totally completely prepared for it and we earned it. Oakland Strokes wins the gold in the women's lightweight eights. Our coach would like to talk about this year is a lot of moments. Like in each stroke there's like a lot of moments in each stroke. In the catch there's moments. And this was like the final moment of the year this whole week. So I thought that this moment, like crossing the finish line, was the best moment that we could have had. In the championship race for the men's four, it's Deerfield with the gold. OKC to see Rye High School wins the gold medal. We didn't expect second place last yeah, year. That was, was amazing. Yeah. We were, we were but we really knew we had the same exact boat coming back. We wanted to take it a step up. Holy Names wins the gold medal for the women's lightweight four. Holy what? Holy, Holy Names! names. <laughs> what? Holy Names! Holy what? Which is kind of our like legacy. We thought like uh, we just had to leave um, one last amazing race out there with these girls. They're coming down to the finish line. 50 meters to go. Balin Jesuit trying to hold on and fend off CRI. I think they have it as they come to the finish line. 20 meters down. Balin Jesuit winning the gold in the men's lightweight eights. Here comes Sagatuck to the line and a three-peak gold medal for Sagatuck in the women's eight. So there's also so much trust in this boat. Like yeah. when you passed, like you knew that everyone in pool like the absolute hardest and like I would throw my hardest for any one of these girls again. Yeah. There's a lot of screaming at the end. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the last of the A finals for the day. Newport hanging in there. Oakland Strokes continuing to try to press but not getting the advantage. In the meantime, Sarasota has roared past the Cincinnati Juniors. They are beginning to walk up on Gonzaga, but at the finish, Newport for the gold. What a final race in the 2017 Youth National Championships. A great race. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations to all the rowers for competing here in this championship regatta and thank you for being here at Nathan Benderson Park. In